Uh, we're happy to have uh, Professor Kawamata from University of Tokyo. He will speak on birational geometry and derived category. I'd like to thank the organizer for inviting me to speak. And it's a great honor to uh, speak in this uh, important conference of JDZ. J -G. So I, I have one, one paper in JDG published in uh, 2002. And, and I considered uh, so-called D equivalence and K equivalence in that paper. So in this talk, I'd like to report on the progress of this, of this problem and uh, some application uh, in the case of uh, general, so quotient, quotient of C3 by general linear group. So uh, in this talk, I always work over the complex number field. So what is uh, K equivalence and D equivalence? Hmm? Uh, so that, let X and Y be uh, small projective varieties. And then they are called K equivalent if the following condition is satisfied. So first they are birational. So they are, there is so-called Hironaka hat in this way. So both F and G are birational morphisms. And such that the pullback of the canonical divisor of X is equal to pullback of the canonical divisor of why? So it's called K equivalent. And D equivalence is defined to be the, the following. So bounded derived category of coherent sheaves on X is equivalent to the one on uh, Y. So the derived category, so this is D equivalent. And these two equivalences are closely related. So the reason is that the, the, there's a cell functor in the derived category given by the cell duality. And this, this is the important invariant of the uh, category. So uh, the cell functor is, of course, related to the canonical divisor. So in this way, the, the equivalence and uh, K equivalence are very closely related. And then the conjecture is that so K equivalence implies D equivalence. So there are varieties which are not birational, but D equivalent. So D equivalence is uh, broader than K equivalence. K equivalence is uh, defined only for birational equivalent varieties. So, so in this equivalence, the, the category of Abian category of sheaves, uh, coherent sheaves, uh, do not correspond. So uh, they, in, this, in this categorical equivalence, the T structures uh, changes. T, T structure changes. So that means. Uh, a coherent sheaf on X correspond to complex of coherent sheaves on Y and vice versa. So this is uh, not, not uh, so trivial correspondence. So that, that, that's, uh, that makes things uh, more interesting. And there is an uh, extended uh, version. Which, so extended conjecture is the following. So So K in inequality, inequality implies D embedding. So that means if, if the pullback of K has inequality, not, not just equality, then the derived category has uh, full face, full embedding. So 
So this is generalization of the uh, equivalence conjecture, and this is this has more. Uh, so uh, actually, in this talk, I I will be more concerned on this uh, conjecture. So there are some partial uh, positive answers. Yeah. And if there is, so th this, these categories are very, very nice so because uh, X is smooth projective. And so uh, they are so-called saturated. So if there is such free faceful embedding, then it automatically implies, th this implies that there's so-called semi-orthogonal decomposition. So D of D, B of Y is decomposed into something and the embedded, or I should put a functor. Actually, this is not just, not, not an embedding, but a functor. Maybe it's better to put functor here. So there is some uh, semi-orthogonal complement such that the whole category is expressed as a semi uh, decomposition in the sense that they, they are orthogonal, so home, home set of C and maybe X, so X and C is zero if C is in C and X is in DB of X. But they are not uh, totally orthogonal in the sense that if you switch this, the argument, then, then they, they, may, they may not be zero. So in order to study such uh, birational geometry, uh, it's standard to factorize the birational map. So if you have a, but so, so suppose that if, if you have a birational morphism, then uh, it's, uh, maybe it's easier to study such problem by factorizing the birational map, so factorization. So if the dimension is two, then uh, there is famous theorem by Zariski that, uh, that this birational morphism is decomposed into Castellanova's contractions. So each step is uh, a Castel Castellanova's contraction of minus one curve. So it is very nice. So uh, for any parallel morphism, so. In order to study such thing, it's it's sufficient to consider only just uh, one blow down or blow up, and then uh, then then uh, the conjecture is easily proved. So so, but higher dimensional case, uh, this kind of factorization uh, doesn't hold anymore. So it is shown already in the thesis of Hironaka. So in dimension is higher, so there are two types of factorization. The first one is uh, weak factorization. This is proved by Brodarczyk and also Abramovich, Karu, and Matsuki, and Brodarczyk. The statement is uh, as follows. So, so from X, one has to blow up, blow up, and blow up, and so on, and then blow down, blow down, and so on, and then blow up, and blow up, and so on. To y. So from x to y, there is a morphism, but uh, this, it is decomposed into blow up and blow downs. So this is one uh, possibility. So the second, second factorization is I uh, use, use MMP. 
So in this case, the, it is more straightforward. So it is very similar to Zariski's factorization. But uh, each step is more complicated. So in this case, uh, I need to introduce so-called terminal singularities, terminal Q factorial singularities. And the existence of that thing is proved by uh, Birka, Cassini, Hakon, Makana. So in this case, the, except x and y, uh, intermediate steps are may, may be all singular, uh, like this. But each step, k decreases. Ah, in, ah sorry, sorry. In, in, yeah, yeah, okay. So if, if there is variation morphism anyway, k x is bigger than so f star k y. So k inequality holds. And in the sense that, so maybe I, I write just simply kx is larger than ky. So ignoring f product. And then, so in this case, kx0 is larger than kx1, and so on. So k decreases uh, constantly. So in this case, k increases by blow up, and decreases, increase, decrease, and so on. So this is more, uh, more complicated. But this, this case, it is well ordered. Yeah, this is uh, advantage. And, and each step, each step, so so-called so primitive steps, uh, either divisorial contractions, contraction, or flip. And divisional contraction is a morphism, but flip is not, not a morphism, but a bi itself bilateral map. But it, uh, flip changes only co-dimension two or more structure. So that, uh, that happens only in dimension three or more. So this, uh, this weak factorization has already some application. So, so this is, this this goes back to goes back to motivic integration by uh, Denev, Rezel, Konsevich, Batilev, and uh, Yasuda. But uh, here, by using weak factorization, we have a much uh, simpler proof. So, so, so I start with x, but uh, maybe. So I, I consider pair, yeah. and and then uh, blow up. I consider and blow down maybe like this. So what 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 are b? So and and y and uh, y z uh, y and zero. So I, first I assume that k x. Is so the the k I assume first the k equivalence so k x is equal to k y, and then by weak factorization I can factorize so that k x plus zero is equal to k x i plus b i equal to k y plus zero something like this. So I I can define intermediate steps some boundary divisors. Actually, these boundary divisors are negative in this case. So the pair, xi and bi are so-called log pairs. And, and the coefficient of bi are less than one. Actually, in this case, these are all integral divisors, so that they are actually non-negative and non-positive. And in this, in this, for such pair, I can define uh, something like this. So 
be so yeah. So suppose so so I, I should be more precise. So suppose x and b be a pair where uh, x is smooth and b is normal, simple normal crossing support and b is equal to summation of b i b i. So for such pair, I can define sum, sum of b j 0 times j inside j of 1 minus l and 1 minus l, 1 minus b i. So, so this expression. This expression lives in the, in the localization of the Grothendieck group. So this is the element of uh, K0 variety and localize. So, yeah, actually, they are projective spaces inverse. So, what, what is, first of all, uh, what, what is Grothendieck Gothani group of varieties? They, so, the, the generator of this group are uh, all smooth project varieties. Oh, uh, no, no, uh, just uh, smooth varieties. And the relationship is that x, so if, if x has some variety, uh, not smooth, uh, all varieties. So if x, algebraic variety x has closed sub variety y, then the class of x is equal to class of the complement and cl class of y. So by this relation, one can define the Grothendieck of varieties. And so this is B-dimensional projective space. And, and uh, so uh, this, is a, this has a ring structure by, by direct product. And, and this is localization. So in this localized ring, so the, the P, P of B, is equal to 1 plus, uh, L is a fine line, LB. So actually, this is this is projective space of, uh, so B, B, actually, B is negative, BI is negative. So this is projective space of B1 min, BI minus 1 dimensional. So they take product, and this is, well, what is this? So the index, index set is, index set of the divisor is i, then j is arbitrary subset, and, and bj, bj is just the intersection of all bj. So this is a certification of the uh, despair. And, and this expression, and it's easy to see that this expression doesn't change under this factorization. And, and so if you consider the both sides, then you can see that x is equal to y inside this. And from this, there is another Grothendieck group uh, defined by Bondar, Luntz, and Larsen, and Luntz. That there's a map to Grothendieck group of uh, Categories, so actually uh, pre-triangulated categories, and localized by Q. So uh, this localization becomes become tensor product of in Q. So in conclusion, so there is a map from here to here. So I have a class of X is equal to a class of Y in this Goldhunting group. group. Now that's, uh, that's not uh, the proof of the conjecture, that's the very, very weak form. The Grothendieck group of categories is like, uh, similarly defined. So if you have a, if you have a semi-orthogonal decomposition like this, then in the Grothendieck group, class of A 
is equal to class of B plus class of C. So in this way, you, you can define Gotani group of pre-triangulated pre categories. And, and moreover, if you tensorize by Q, so, so that uh, there is localization, then uh, you have equality and X and Y. So that's uh, approximate, uh, very weakly, the, the conjecture. By the way, there, there is some supporting fact that uh, if, if X and Y are Calabrian manifold, then uh, the, their categories are indecomposable. So they, they are not decomposed in this way. So Calabrian, so X, if X is Calabrian, then DB of X is indecomposable. So uh, no SOD, semi orthogonal decomposition. So this is some supporting evidence for the conjecture. Yeah. Now, I'd like to explain the more serious approach to the conjecture. So this is related to the moduli problem by the So there is so-called Orloff, Orloff representability theorem. So if you have a free faceful functor like this, then it is represented by a kernel. Kernel maybe written by P. So if if this factor is written by phi, the phi of phi of x is equal to, so th this lives in db of x cross y. So p, p2 star, p1 star x tends to p. So, so you, you put back object on x to the product and tensorize is and the kernel and push down, so integration. And then you get the functor. So any, any, fun, any fully faceful functor is represented by uh, this integration functor. Yeah, so, so this is x and this is y. So then suppose you have, ah, sorry. Suppose you have a point on X. So X, X is a st structure sheet of o point OX. So if you apply this to OX, then what you get is a slice of the kernel. So kernel is here. So o OX goes to maybe PX. This is in db of y. So, yeah, so, so x is, is the modular space of, of ox, and this, by this equivalent, so by this fully face of functor, this is understood as the modular space of, of px. So, so this, uh, this kind of free phase or equivalence in, in the special case is uh, expressed as a, expressed in the way that X is a modular space of some, some object on uh, Y. So this, and the, and the so positive answers to the conjecture is always uh, so up, up to now, uh, no, not always, but uh, some of the cases are proved by using this modular construction. And also, it is modular space, so it's natural to extend, uh, nat naturally, so stack structure appears naturally because, because uh, X is modular space. So in, 
At the beginning, I assumed that X is smooth and projective. But uh, in, more generally, I should assume that X is uh, stuck, some kind of very nice stack, like a uh, dream for stack. And then uh, I can define still uh, the K equivalence and so on. And, and the conjecture should be extended to this more general case. So for the, the first, first work of this, of this thing is uh, proved by Bridgeland. So he considered very, uh, so more, the first non-trivial case of a three-dimensional flop. So three-dimensional flop. And he expressed uh, y, y, x, that this is symmetric. So, so as y as a modular space of perverse sheaves. So y is equal to modular space of perverse pointed sheaves. So the point is to, to guess the right answer, right, right modular space, so right, right modular problem to represent y. And in that case, this power pointed shift was the correct answer. So what is power pointed shift? So, so on, on x, there is a, a category of coherent sheaves, and then, so, this, if you extend this to unbounded category of quasi-coherent sheaves, then this has decomposed into the cyclic object and the pullback of pullback from downstairs. So this is quasi-coherent sheave, so, and just pullback. So this is left orthogonal to, to this, and then. So this, this has uh, natural t-structure, and this has natural t-structure. And but uh, if you twist uh, or shift the t-structure on, on the on the acyclic objects, and glue the glue the t-structure, and then you get a new t-structure. And this this is a perverse shift. So this is this kind of mechanism is uh, uh, very general mechanism is. Explained in 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 a book, Asterix, Asterix one hundred. So yeah, so 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 the the way to yeah, okay, I, I had to speed up. Yeah. So so in the three dimensional case, if you flop variety from smooth smooth variety to smooth variety, so it is symmetric. But already in dimension four, it is not symmetric. So uh, there's an example in dimension four. So the left hand side is smooth, and the P2 is, is contracted to a point in, so in X. And the other side, uh, P1 is contracted. But here there is a quotient singularity. So this is y, and and k kx is equivalent to ky, and the dx dbx is equivalent to db of y tilde. Where y tilde is not y itself, but it it's associated dream of the stack. So, so if I consider the, the original y, then it has singularity. So the derived category is, has an infinite homological dimension. So they, never, they are never equivalent. But, so I have to replace the, to, to, the, to the derived category of the stack. So in general, that for this kind of situation, I can consider a pair, xb, 
which is of a, of a quotient type. If the following is satisfied, so there is a covering by smooth variety. So this is subjective and quasi finite, but not finite. So this is uh, red, uh, no, not irreducible, but reducible variety. So x is x has singularities, and u u has a partial partial coverings. So some, some part is cover, covered by this, and some other part is covered by this, something like this. So, and such that pi star of kx plus b is equal to ku. So b, b remembers the ramification of this map. So b, b has standard coefficient. Standard coefficient is a coefficient in, in a set, uh, and it's in like this. And in this case, if I take u cross u and uh, normalize, then this is the relation scheme over u cross u. And this, this covering determines uh, DM stack. It's written by X tilde. And so this is general case. So the conjecture is, so if X is equivalent to Y and X B, ah, sorry, not, not X. X B is equivalent to yc. That means uh, kx plus b is equivalent to ky plus c. Then db of x tilde is uh, equivalent to db of y tilde. And, uh, and also, in inequality case, I have free face for embedding for the, sa for the same situation. So now I state some. Yeah, actually there are more, more known cases. So the, this is quite old, old result, but there are more, more recent. Okay, so, so for example, in, in the case where uh, the, uh, so a flop between cotangent space of Grassmannian So, so this Grassmannian is contracted to, uh, and, and uh, some, so the contagion space is not ample, so there are more contraction at any. So there's a flop like this. So this is a dual Grassmannian. And so th these are so-called Springer resolutions. And this is called the, uh, a uh, Mukai flop, a uh, stratified Mukai flop, or generalized stratified Mukai flop. And the, the derived categories are again equivalent. So this is x, this is y. And this is proved by uh, Barad, Fabelo, Kazarokov, and Harpan Leisner. And in, in their case, this birational map is, uh, is extended to uh, so-called uh, algebraic 
algebraic mode theory. Uh, I'm sorry, weak factorization is algebraic mode theory. So here, the most, so, so x and y are birational. Then in, in term, so there is a sister action. And one GIT quotient is x, the other co quotient is y. And in between, there are some unstable locus. And, and if you cross unstable locus, uh, the variety changes each time. And if you resolve this, in this, uh, this most theory uh, in, a, in a good way, then you get weak factorization. But usually, so there are a lot of such things which, which corresponds to blow up and blow downs. So, but in this case, there is just one, one unstable locus, and still you can analyze uh, the ta tangent directions and so on. So, by, by very, 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 very good structure of this algebraic mode theory, uh, they proved that the equivalence. So now, I like to consider the toric case. So suppose that x and b are quotient type. and the toroidal. So, is it, so it implies especially that the quotient are abelian quotient, group by abelian uh, group. So, so in general, they, they are non-abelian. But uh, uh, if the, the group is abelian, then it's much easier. So suppose that there are two Two toroidal pairs, which are birational, uh, which are toroidally birational. So, to so to toroidally birational. So, the birational map is given by toroidal map. And so, the first part. First part, if kx plus b is equivalent to ky plus c, in the sense that if you, no, not b, c, if you go to higher model, then they are, the, they are equal, then this parallel map f, f is decomposed into Toroidal flops. So this is uh, uh, quite uh, non-trivial. Yeah. So so there there is a similar but much more general theorem. So X B and Y C are terminal pairs and. And kx plus b equal ky plus c is nef over some base scheme. So this is called the minimum model. Then, so then this uh, bi birational map. So yeah, I didn't say that. These equalities, of course. By birational map f, f is the f is decomposed into fl flops, so not toroidal but the general flops. But if if most of them are not minimal, then it's difficult to decompose into flops. So this is the the picture is like this. So min, minimal model is so this is the direction of k. Minimal models are at the bottom. 
and they are connected by flops. So, minima. But the general case, they are floating above, but you have to go horizontally. So weak factorization go up and down. But, so it is quite difficult. But the, in the toroidal case, I can, I can prove this. So next theorem, this is again toroidal case. So suppose that there is toroidal pairs as before. And there's a morphism or morphism or a flop, a flip like this. So I assume that this is, I, F is either divisorial contraction or flip. But the usual divisorial contraction, kx plus b is bigger than ky plus c, or at, at most equal. But I, I, I can allow that the, the, the other direction is possible. So this is usually called divisorial extraction. So okay, yeah. So all uh, all, all equality uh, inequalities are possible. And then so there is. There is a free faceful embedding or a different direction. So uh, this direction corresponds to uh, this inequality. The other direction corresponds to this inequality. So according to the inequalities of the canonical divisor, I have free faceful embeddings. So, the, so in, the, in, the, in the singular case, if you contract divisor, so you the canonical divisor may may become bigger. So in the smooth case, if you contract always, uh, canonical divisor decreases. But that, this is not, not the case for singular case. So there are many, many possibilities. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 X and Y are uh, toroidal. So that means locally toric. So they, they, they are toric singularities. But the, so toric singularity is of quotient type. So toroidal and Q-factorial. So this is equivalent to saying that the X and Y has abelian quotient singularities. Yeah, for, for example, in the, in the last lecture of Jun Li, so he, he considered, uh, so K, Kp4, and this is equivalent to db of uh, c5 divided by z5, because uh, so they are k equivalent, and so so this is a very particular case of this theorem. So now I'd like to consider non-abelian case. So let, let G be a finite subgroup of GL3C. And, and I want to compare uh, the derived category of X and some resolution. So X is C. 3 divided by g. So of course, this, has, this is singular. So the, 
I, I should replace this by a drilling manifold stack. This is the quotient stack like this. And I'd like to compare the derived category of extruder and uh, some uh, partial resolution of X. And, and what, what kind of partial resolution I consider? That there is a minimal model, so minimum, minimum model is constructed by BCHM. So this is a partial resolution. Such that y is terminal and q factorial, and ky is nef. And in this case, pullback of kx is equal to a ky plus ey, where ey is effective. So uh, if, uh, if the group, group is in SL3, then there's crepant resolution. That means there is no E. But in, in the general case, there is some effective divisor E. Yeah. And then there is another model, so-called maximal model. So this is, again, very similar. So this is like this, and y is, again, terminal q factorial. But it, this, is, uh, this is obtained by blowing up minimum model more. But such that, so f star kx is equal to ky plus by plus, uh, not by, plus ey. And EY is effective. So the same condition, but the maximal means that this, this, all these, all these uh, exceptional divisors appears. So in the minimum model, if you blow up further, then eventually the, the residual part becomes negative. But uh, sometimes you can still blow up under the condition that this, uh, the residual part is still effective. So in the, this is the maximal resolution. And max, maximal resolution is uh, sometimes useful in the minimum order theory. And the minimum order exists for any singularity. So x can be arbitrary singularity. But maximum model exists only for KLT pairs. So in this case, this is just a quotient singularity. But uh, x, x, x can be pair, which is a KLT. Now, uh, the, the theorem is like this. So dB of this quotient stack is decomposed into dB of Z1 tilde, dB, Z, dB tilde, and dB of the maximal resolution tilde. So th this is the dB, uh, dm stack associated to the maximal resolution. And the others uh, uh, correspond to the fixed locus of the group action. So for example, Z, uh, Z1 can be the origin. And then dB of Z1 is generated by the structure shift of the origin, origin. And this is called exceptional object. And the, the other, so, so I want to call call this part a uh, relative exception. Yeah. So th these are all affine varieties uh, over C3. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.
Ah, it's, it's a flop, then it's isomorphic, and the flip, then it's uh, semi. Yeah, yeah. Free face for embedding. Yes, if you have factorization, then each step you have uh, uh, this kind of uh, free phase free embedding. So if the, if the factorization is uh, constantly decreasing or uh, horizontal, then you get a nice result. Uh, is there a condition on this uh, similarity appearing on this brief? Ah, ah, so in this theorem, I consider the only toroidal things. So all, all singularities appear as uh, abelian quotient singularities. So what about general? Uh, yeah, of course I expect that uh, <laughs> this holds for general. But, yeah, so most results are on the, on the flops, or crepant case. Crepant case is, so the, there is natural presentation as modular space and so on, so it's very good, but in the, in the flip case, even in dimension three, it's not, uh, not known except uh, this uh, toroidal case. Okay, so let's thank the speaker again. So we'll resume the talk in the afternoon after the lunch at 1.30. <laughs>